After losing maybe a little bit of sanity, I just realized something. Um, so if I go, all right, so Windows 10 VM VirtualBox on Linux running Samsung DeX with an S9 Plus going in via USB 2.0. You go to this experience and like, let's say I just open something basic. Like you can see that's kind of jerky. And if I open an application and just drag it around, it is very laggy and very terrible. But if I go to a YouTube video and play something that's 60 FPS, it auto adjusts to that. So this is currently playing 1440p at 60, and, well, there's supposed to be audio, but it's not routing right now, but it's smooth as can be. Samsung DeX on PC via the USB streaming is variable refresh rate. I assume because they want to save bandwidth. So that's why it's a shitty experience, because if you're doing office work, it's terrible. But once you actually do something that requires 60 FPS, it goes back. I only realized this because I ran Scrippy with an FPS overlay, which it also is variable refresh rate. So, um, I'm losing track of what's what here. Okay. Come on. Get me out of full screen. There we go. If I drop to a 30 FPS mode, it drops to 30 FPS. The whole screen syncs with whatever you have. If I go to desktop, it drops to 10, 18. If I just open a window, well, Scrippy has the benefit of actually adjusting properly for desktop usage. That's why it seems so good. Because it auto-ramps up based on it. The, the one on DeX does not. But it can when there's media or the UFO test playing. Test... UFO. I mean, not completely, but better. Because if I go to Scrappy now, we're running at 60 FPS because adaptive refresh rate. It seems the video stream, either Scrippy, because all DeX is doing for the PC USB streaming is essentially what Scrippy is doing. It is casting from the device to a container on the computer so the so the entire re so so the entire reason it feels like shit is because samsung chooses not to adaptive refresh rate for everything they only do it for stuff that is most noticeable which is kind of shitty <laughs>